Hey guys, Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic and guess what? I'm going to show you guys how to warm up for several of the different exercises in my Fit After 50 program. So we're going to start today with Monday in phase one and you guys are going to see how I recommend you guys warm up your body before you start your workout. Okay guys, so there's different ways to warm up and it depends on what you're doing in that particular workout as to how I recommend you warm up. All right, so that's why I've picked two completely different phases here, phase one and phase two. Now phase one, we do everything in a circuit style, okay? Phase two, we don't do that. We do, we do muscle groups in order. We do three to four sets of a certain muscle group and then we move on to a different exercise and do three or four sets of that exercise, different muscle group. Then we move on to another muscle group or a different exercise and do three or four sets. So lots of different ways to warm up guys and I'm not talking about a cardio workout today, all right? So I'm talking about resistance training. How do you get your body, your muscles prepared? And it's not just your muscles. Remember, it's your tendons, your ligaments, your joints, okay? And that mind-muscle connection, all right? So on Monday, phase one, the very first workout anybody ever did in my program, it has six exercises. And remember, we're gonna do these in circuit fashion. So you do one exercise and then move immediately to the next one without resting, okay? And then all of these, call out for 15 reps, all right? Now, the first exercise is push-up, then we go to a squat, an overhead press with dumbbells, all right? Then a bent over row with dumbbells, then we do skull crushers with dumbbells, and then we end up doing curls, two arm curls with dumbbells. So guys, it takes a while for your body to get going. I mean, you probably know that already. If you saw how long I took at the gym to warm up before I really started hitting the weights hard, you, you would be amazed, okay? But this is what I would recommend you guys do. So, today, you're supposed to be doing 15 reps of everything. The only thing that you might not be able to get 15 reps on would be the push-ups, all right? So I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to do that. But first of all, the first thing I want you guys to do is to do every single exercise in the order that is prescribed, but only do six reps. So whatever weight that you're going to be ultimately using, okay, you might even use a little bit lighter than that. I only want you to do six reps. Now, so the first exercise is a push-up. Now guys, I can do 15 easily, all right, without stopping. If you can too, that's fine. I want you to just knock out six push-ups, all right? However, let's say you can only do 10 push-ups without stopping. You're not going to be able to get to the, the, the goal today of 15 without stopping. So I want you to pick a number that's a little less than half of what you can actually do if you can't get to 15. All right, now I'm going to be doing six simply because 15 is no problem for me, but man, I'm all stiff. I'm not warm. All right, so I'm just going to knock out about six reps here. Now, guys. I'm not pushing myself hard, right? That's easy. That's the goal, okay? I want these to be easy the first time through this circuit. Now, if you can only do 10 push-ups, I just want you to knock out about four, four reps, okay? So that's how I want you guys to adjust. Now, the very next exercise is a body weight squat. So, all right, we don't need, we're doing six, all right? So, you know, just one, two, three, Four. Nice, good form, guys. Six. Not, not taxing my legs at all, okay? Next one, overhead press, all right? You're picking a nice, light wet weight, all right? I'm just gonna knock out six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now remember, once you start your workout, you're gonna be doing 15 of all of these things, all right? Next exercise is a bent over row, all right? We're just gonna do six reps, all right? So bent over, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, boom. After rows, we do skull crushers. Now guys, I'm doing them in the same order as the workout program calls for. I'm just not pushing myself, right? <laughs> Taking it nice and easy, guys. Skull crushers. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, all right? And then the last exercise today in our circuit training are standing curls. So let's get up, knock out six reps, okay? Remember, this is supposed to be easy, guys, all right? You shouldn't be really out of breath and you should be nowhere near failure. You should be two, three, four, five, whew, and six. All right, so it's an easy weight, all right? I'm not straining at all here. I'm just kind of, just barely getting the blood flowing, all right? Give yourself a little rest, all right? I'm talking, so when, when I'm talking, I get out of breath. So, you know, you guys probably don't need more than about 30 seconds rest before you do that circuit again. But this time, instead of doing six reps, I want you to do eight, all right? So instead of sitting here and watching me go through this, okay, you know what the job is, what your, what your goal is, you can do eight reps, all right? Then at the end of that circuit, stop again, rest for about 30, 40 seconds, all right? Kind of catch your breath. Then I want you to do 10 reps. So that would be three circuits, three warm-up circuits, all right? In the first circuit, we're just doing six reps. Second one, eight. Third one, 10, all right? Now, after three times going through every single exercise, you should be to a point where you got the blood going to all the muscles that you're gonna be working that day. All right, now, it just so happens that the workout I picked here, the one we're talking about, is a full body workout. We're working out all the muscles in our upper body and all the muscles in our lower body. But sometimes, all right, when you get into the later phases, say phase three, you might just have a chest day. All right, so you're not gonna be doing squats and all that kind of stuff. You'll just be warming up your chest, all right? I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. So guys, real straightforward, on a circuit training day, just go through the circuit, but pick a light weight. Start off with a real low number of reps. So if you're shooting for 15, only do about six for the first circuit. Catch your breath real quick. Don't wait too long, okay? You want your heart rate to kind of start creeping up a little bit. Then do eight reps for the second circuit and then 10 for the third circuit. And then you should be at a point where you're ready to hit the workout hard. And when I say the workout, okay, I'm talking about the Fit After 50 plan and where you go to 15 reps and it needs to be difficult. You need to start pushing yourself hard, okay? So guys, real straightforward way to warm up. You didn't see me doing jumping jacks, all right? I wasn't doing any mountain climbers. I wasn't doing any jumping rope or anything like that. I didn't have to do that. Really, all I'm trying to do is wake up the muscles because today is a resistance training day. This is not a cardio day, all right? So that's how I want you guys to warm up for this circuit style training. All right, guys, so today I want to show you how to do a completely different type of warm up for a different type of workout. So this is phase two. This is Monday, it's called a push day. So we're not doing things in a circuit style training fashion. Today what we're doing is focusing on each muscle group and we're doing three to four sets of that muscle group of that one exercise, then we're moving on to the next exercise. Three to four sets of that, moving on to the next. So there's seven exercises today. So how should you warm up? I think the most efficient, easiest way is to warm up the muscle right before you do that exercise. So you don't need to do seven different exercises of warming up like we did when we were doing circuit style training. So the very first exercise today is something called a bridge press, all right? So I want you to just pick the weight you, you think you're gonna be using and instead of doing 12 reps, which is what phase two calls for, we're just gonna do six, just like in the other warm up program I showed you. So bridge presses, we're gonna meet down on the ground here, all right? And these are alternating, right? So I'm gonna get into the bridge press position and I'm just gonna, and just alternate. So we're just gonna do six on each side, all right? Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, all right. That was easy, no big deal, all right? Remember, you're not trying to 
strain or stress your muscles at this point. We're just trying to get the blood going into the muscles, get that mind-muscle connection starting, get those ligaments and tendons warmed up. That's what I'm really worried about is getting tendonitis by going real, real hard without really being warmed up yet. Yeah. All, right. All right, so remember, we're warming up specifically for exercise number one, the alternating bridge presses. So I just did six reps for you down the ground there. Just catch your breath real quick, 30, 40 seconds, all right? Because remember, you didn't push yourself. Your muscles shouldn't be really fatigued. Now I want you to do another set of eight reps this time. Very similar to how we warmed up with the circuit style training. Give yourself about 60 seconds rest, right? Because that's a little more difficult, all right? Now, the third warm-up set should just be about 10 reps. So what I want you guys to do mentally and physically is to start preparing those muscles to be pushed hard. Because remember in phase two, I wanted you to pick a weight that is difficult to get to 12 reps. You need to be near failure by that 12th rep. So guys, the first warm-up set, only six reps. All right, give yourself a little breather. Second warm-up set, let's do eight, okay? A little more difficult. And then the third warm-up set, all right, we're gonna do 10 reps. So it should be reasonably hard, but not as difficult, obviously, as your first real set, all right? So basically, you're doing three warm-up sets. It, it could be the same weight with six, eight, and 10 reps, or you could actually be starting off with a really, really light weight, and then slightly increasing the weight on those three warm-up sets. So there's several ways to do this. And guys, everybody can experiment, see what you like, okay? Uh, when I'm at the gym, I typically start off with a real, real lightweight. And then the second warm-up set, I'll use a slightly heavier weight. And then the third warm-up set, an even heavier weight, but still below my ultimate weight that I'm gonna be using when I'm really going 100% and pushing myself. So three warm-up sets, all right? six, eight, and 10 reps, or you could go with a baby weight and then a medium weight and a slightly heavier than medium weight. But remember, everything is gonna be significantly below the effort threshold that I want you to put into your very first real workout set of that particular exercise. So exercise number two in my workout, okay, phase two, Monday, it's a push day. We're gonna be doing shoulders, okay? So these are lateral raises. All right, pick a real light weight and just knock out about six reps, okay? You're not pushing yourself hard, guys. Now remember, we just finished doing the bridge press a minute ago, so we got a nice little pump going in our chest. And depending on what week you are in the program, you either did three sets of the bridge press or you did four sets, all right? So you did those, now you're moving on to lateral raises and your shoulders aren't really warm yet, so that's what we're doing. We're just kind of warming them up before we get into the real workout. So I just did a little baby set there of six. Give yourself just a few seconds rest. You don't really need much right now. Knock out about eight reps, okay? Same exercise, lateral raise. Give yourself a little more rest and knock out about 10 reps, all right? So those are three warm-up sets that we're doing for our lateral raise. Once you do that, of course, you're ready to get into the real deal, the, the, the hardcore set where my program calls for 12 reps, all right? Which means you need to pick a heavier weight, a weight that is difficult to get to 12 reps. And that, those are the three sets that count. So remember guys, when you're doing today's workout program, all right, so phase two, day one, it's a Monday, all these warm-up sets do not count towards the workout program, okay? Warm-up sets never count, all right? You're just kind of getting the blood flowing, all right? Real straightforward, guys. All right, guys. Exercise number three today are chest flies with bands and a high anchor. So, just like everything else, I need to warm up my chest, all right? Now, we've already done uh, several other exercises. You know, we've already done one and two, but it doesn't matter. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the exact same exercise. So even when I'm at the gym and I may be focusing on a single muscle, let's say it's a chest day, I will still do warm-up exercises or warm-up sets anytime I change machines or go to a new exercise. 
A lot of that is really a mind-muscle connection, but some of it is joint and tendon related. So these are going to be chest flies. I'm only going to knock out about six, okay? I'm not going to kill myself. The other thing is, guys, you're just practicing your form. And when I say mind-muscle connection, all right, it's not just how hard you can squeeze the muscles and how many muscle fibers you can engage at once, all right? It's, it's also the mind-muscle connection of doing the form correctly, getting that tempo correct, all right? So that's, that's another reason, you know, you do these warm-up sets. And, and remember, if it's really easy, like, like that was, you don't need hardly any rest. Just give yourself about 15, 20 seconds rest. Then you can do eight reps, or if you want to, you can add some more bands, some more resistance. Get closer to the resistance that you're going to be using when you're doing the exercise, you know, according to the workout plan, when you're doing the, the real three to four sets. So remember, just knock out about three quick warm-ups here, all right? You don't push yourself real hard, but then you pick the resistance, the number of bands that you're going to be using for today's workout, because remember, it's got to be difficult to get to 12 reps. All right, so exercise number four today is a tricep push down. Once again, just gonna do some real lightweight here with the resistance bands, and I'm just gonna knock out about six reps, guys. So, two, three. I'm just really focusing on the form, trying to keep my elbows still and close to my side there. And, Especially if you don't already have some good blood flow to your triceps from the other exercises we've done. You know, this is kind of a good way to kind of warm things up. So, you know, don't push yourself hard, especially on the very first warm-up set, you know, 30, 40 seconds rest. Knock out about eight reps in the next warm-up and then 10 on the third warm-up and then you're ready for the real deal. Okay guys, so exercise number five is a push-up with your head elevated, all right? I just got to cheat, I got to look at my little program here. So, all right, so it calls for 12 push-ups, all right? So don't kill yourself, all right? I'm going to get in an elevated push-up position here, all right? And I'm just going to knock out about six of these things, all right? All right, now, that's the correct number of warm-up push-ups for me because I can get to 12 no problem. Now, what happens if you're a beginner and you can't do 12 push-ups? You're not going to be able to get to the prescribed number in my plan, all right, because you're just, you're starting out. All right, maybe you can only do eight, all right? So, I, instead of doing six for your warm-up, just do about two, all right? Just two, two push-ups, all right? Catch your breath, give your, give your chest a little rest, then the next warm-up set, do three, three push-ups, right? So you're a little, much, little more difficult, but still you're not killing yourself because you can do eight, right? Give yourself another 60 seconds rest. And then for your third warm-up set, the last warm-up, just knock out about four. So guys, you kind of see the strategy here, all right? So push-ups are one of the few exercises where there is a little caveat here because some guys can't do the prescribed number that my plan calls for simply because you're a beginner you might be carrying a lot of extra weight that I don't have to push up okay so I get it uh, you know push-ups are kind of a unique exercise but the goal is guys to don't strain yourself on those first three warm-up sets but I want you to push it a little bit harder with each warm-up set before you get to the real workout okay so exercise number six today is rear delt flies okay so if you've noticed when I designed today's workout I made sure all the exercises that use bands use bands with the high anchor position okay <laughs> so I'm thinking ahead for you guys so you're not having to move these things around in between every single different exercise so let's just warm up real quick here all right nothing nothing real strenuous Two, three four, five, six, ah, okay. So I'm just kind of trying to feel the engagement of the muscle. We're working the rear part of our shoulders here, our rear delts. 
And so when I'm doing this, I'm trying to feel the muscle that's working. And I know it sounds kind of um, like an obscure concept sometimes, but I promise if you guys will, will literally just focus on a little spot on the wall when you're doing an exercise, okay? You know, I'll just be staring, you know, someplace here or even at the anchor. And even though I'm staring at it, I'm not concentrating on that. I'm concentrating on my muscles. So I'm, I'm almost visualizing myself out of my body, looking at myself doing the exercise. So I'm staring there, but my brain is thinking rear delt, okay? And bring my elbows back. So, you know, today is, video is not really to, to tell you guys how to do the correct form on these things. It's really about how I recommend you warm up. So knock out about three light, easy warm-up sets before you get into the hardcore stuff. Okay, finally, we're to the last exercise for today's workout program. You know, number seven is an overhead tricep extension. And guys, I bet you know what I'm going to say now, right? <laughs> so I'm not going to go through all the explanation but guys you know a lot of these exercises especially when you're using bands feel a little awkward because you know your hands your arms things are kind of shaking and so this is a good time when you're doing these just little easy warm-up sets to get the form and that mind muscle connection all right so that when I do add more resistance and I'm ready to really push it hard I'll get way more out of that set, out of the real hardcore working sets, than if I hadn't warmed up and didn't really have my balance and my coordination already figured out with those little simple warm-up sets. All right, guys, so hopefully I got across the point today of, of the importance of warming up, but also there's different types of warming up, all right? So I showed you all how to warm up for resistance training, you know, muscle building basically. And two completely different types of workouts. One was a circuit training workout and I showed you my recommendation for how to warm up for a circuit style. And then I showed you a, a more conventional workout style where we hit three to four sets on a single exercise before moving on to the next exercise. So a couple of different ways to warm up but both of them are for muscle building or resistance training, all right? And guys, it's, they're fairly straightforward concepts, but I promise most of you guys are not doing nearly enough warming up. Um, and, I, you know, I'm one of the few guys I see in the gym, and usually I don't always take my own advice, all right? I forget to do things from time to time. But when it comes to warming up, especially when I'm doing really strenuous, hardcore, you know, resistance training. I'm one of the better guys at the gym when it comes to taking a long time and, and, and really doing a comprehensive warm up. And because of that, I rarely get injured. Even though I'm pushing myself much harder than most of the other guys in the gym, 20 year olds, 30 year olds, it doesn't matter. It's just that, I, I take the time and my ego doesn't get in the way. So when I'm doing these little baby weights and warming up, I don't care that other people are seeing me, all right, doing little baby weights. A lot of the younger guys don't want anyone, girls, guys, doesn't matter, to ever see them lifting a light weight, which is so stupid. So guys, warm up. I promise it'll help you prevent injury. And then remember, you gotta stick with it and never give up on yourself.